Hey guys, it's Di and I am back with another installment in the Maintain Your Bag and Wear and Tear series and the bag for today is going to be the Lovaton Palermo PM Style. I'm going to show you how well it has held up with use and also kind of let you know um, some quirky things I guess about the style. So first of all, this bag is, um, let me check the date code for you, SD1048. So the 14th week of 2008, this is a four year old bag. And it has had sporadic use. It's in the rotation of my bags. But a few winters ago, it was like my go-to bag in the winter. Um, I believe not too long after I got it. So probably winter of 2010-ish, around in there somewhere. Anyways, um... So it has been a go-to bag at one point in its lifetime, but most recently it's just been in the bag rotation and that sort of thing. So you can tell it has uh, darkened handles quite a bit in the leather on it has tanned. It's not super, super dark, but um, it's got a really nice patina on it. And there is a little bit of dirt that has kind of gotten on the handles um, here in the center area where it was grabbed the most. Um, kind of where your hands would go. Again, I don't know. I mentioned this in my Tavoli video. I don't know. It seems like the bags I used in the winter the most are the bags that have little dirt spots on them. So I don't know what that is. I do live in cold climates that have snow and that sort of thing. Although I tend not to try to use my bags with the Fashetta leather when it is actually snowing. Um, if it's not snowing that day, then they're fair game. So I don't know. Um, if there's anything to that or not. I don't know. I have to think about it. But anyways, um, it has the same type of zipper as the Tavoli GM where it's a thick, substantial zipper and it has this little charm that hangs off of it. And I have found that these hold up really well, even with three or four years of use. Um, I haven't had any issues with this. But I have had the same issue with this zipper as I talked about with the Tavoli GM, where if it gets all the way back as far as it can go, it can be fairly difficult to close with one hand. You know, say you have the bag on your shoulder, you're trying to close it. Um, it's almost like it, not like stuck, like won't get unstuck, but it's almost like it kind of, um, I don't know, needs a little bit of assistance to get off of that back area. So, um, well, I just jinxed myself because now it's kind of stuck. But anyway, so I find that it's easiest if it's all the way back against there to use two hands to pinch this area and then pull the zipper across. But the fix that I found if I'm, you know, for ease of use and want to just be able to zip it quickly with one hand, I make sure that I don't zip the bag all the way to this end and I just leave it zipped a little bit and then that way I'm e able to easily grab it and it zips close a lot easier. So the underside of the handles are a little bit lighter than the top of the handles. And I think that's just because this is one bag that I will occasionally carry with my hands like this. So more oils and that sort of thing have to been deposited on the top. These areas where the handles are connected to the bag have held up really well. Um, again, I haven't had any issues with the rivets or um, the sides of the handles have held up you know, really well. I don't have any loose seams or that sort of thing. It also has this attached shoulder strap and it has been incredibly durable as well. Um, there's a little bit of wrinkling kind of like down here, but it's like super minor um, where they've kind of sewn it over and these clips have held up really well. You can see they're still in great working condition, um, as well as this buckle. I pretty much just leave it on the same number um, year-round anytime I'm using it, so um, there's nothing adverse that's happened with that hole or anything as well. So the bottom of the bag um, looks pretty good. It's got the monogram all the way around, and the piping on the leather has picked up quite a bit of um, dirt, debris, or what looks like could be jean transfer, I'm guessing, because I typically wear dark jeans every day, especially in the winter. So um, that is the one thing I will say is that this piping down here, I'm guessing because it's a more structured bag, and also I typically wear this on my shoulder so it's hanging down and hitting my leg when I'm carrying it, has picked up quite a bit of jean transfer around the edges here. But all in all, that's pretty minimal. Um, it hasn't really taken away from the characteristics of the bag and there's no adverse effects. Like, you know, it's not worn down to the point where it would affect the structure of the bag or anything. 
The interior of the bag has held it pretty well. I really like how structured this bag is because I really help, I feel like it helps like find things down inside of there and that sort of thing. And the pockets have also held up really well. Again, I do not use these D-rings, so I cannot speak to, um, as to how they've held up if you hang things off of them and that sort of thing. But I use the pockets on the interior of the bag and everything has been really substantially well made. Knock on wood, I do not want to jinx myself here, but all of the bags, the Louis Vuitton bags that I purchased or have owned over, you know, a period of time that came from like that 2006, 2007, 2008, um, you know, a few year period in there, extremely well-made bags um, that I have not had issues with. I, I hope I didn't just jinx myself, but extremely well-made well bags. And also this one was made in the USA. So I don't think the point of origin, um, you know, really had anything to do with it at that point either. This is a made in the USA bag and my Tivoli GM that I showed in the video previous to this was a made in France bag and they have honestly both held up just one as well as the other. So all in all, this bag has um, really held up quite well. Everything that is um, wear and tear or use issue on it is from normal use. And I haven't had anything um, adversely happen on it that I felt was kind of, you know, something that shouldn't have happened. All in all, it's been very well made and held up extremely well for the money. So hopefully this has been helpful if you have been considering getting one of these. Again, I'd say the only like quirky thing with these styles that have these zippers with the little hanging... Um, Louis Vuitton charm thing off of it is like they get stuck down here at the side but that is just something I think with the zipper because it's a very thick zipper that just happens so it's not really a wear and tear issue it'll probably just happen from day one for you so you just kind of have to anticipate that if it's there um, you may have to kind of work around it I guess so this is the Palermo PM and I'm very very happy with how it's held up I think it's a fantastic bag so thanks so much for watching please let me know if you have any questions have a great day